Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome back again to our YouTube channel Zion Kenya TV. Personally, I'm fine and I believe that this video is going to find you well wherever you are. If you change a dirty sock from one foot to the other, it still remains a dirty sock. That is what we want to drive and compare to Ruto's cabinet reshuffle yesterday. I've been silent enough, viewing and reading comments, but due to the public demands at our YouTube platform, they have requested me to analyze why do you think Ruto made a quick change on a cabinet reshuffle. And we are going to analyze what are some of the objectives of cabinet reshuffle in Ruto's administration yesterday. Before I do that, if this might be your first time watching me at Zion Kenya TV YouTube channel, I just want to request you to take a one second and click the subscription button and subscribe. In that next time when I upload you such kind of a video, the video will automatically come to your YouTube platform. I believe that today's analysis will drive you somewhere as you give us your opinion at the comment section below. Then after you've watched this video, consider to sub, uh, to give us a thumb of like and share to your family, friends and relatives. To the members, I'm very much impressed. May our God Almighty bless you so much through the effort you are doing. Actually, you guys, you are making this channel to grow bigger. Some of you are also even texting me on WhatsApp, still appreciating the good job I'm doing. May we continue with the same spirit and I want to appreciate you guys. Now, let's get to Ruto's <laughs> cabinet reshuffle. Obvious, that is what we want to analyze. As I begin, that if you change a dirty socks from one foot to the other, it still remains a dirty socks. That is what William Samuel Ruto have done under his administration. And I'm still repeating that the best thing for President William Samuel Ruto to consider is to still look for Uhuru Mwegai Kenyatta to assist him on how the government is being run. But that is what Ruto is now <laughs> not considering most. Let's do quick analysis. And I want to mention some of the cabinet uh, name here. Let's begin with uh, Hon Musalia Mudavadi. Musalia Mudavadi left right as a new coalition who are now by that time was NASA and supported William Samuel Ruto with an intention. But you don't know that his uh, big uh, chances in Ruto's administration or post is unconstitutional. Why am I saying that? Because Musalia Mudavadis was elected as a prime cabinet secretary under Russo's administration. But now <laughs> he has been given another post of foreign affairs and diaspora, which was uh, Alfred Mutua's, uh, Alfred Mutua's uh, post in Russo's administration. So it means that Alfred Mutua has been demoted. And we are going to analyze why do you think Alfred Mutua has been demoted? It is because that Ruto is trying to build another strength and want to replace someone popular in Ukambani for the 2027 general election. That is why he have made such kind of a quick demoted on Alfred Mutua's uh, office. And this is a huge blow. A huge blow because remember Alfred Mutua was appointed as a senior most government official in Ukambani. Does it mean Alfred Mutua have secret thing that he exposed to Azimio coalition? So that is what had made William Samuel Ruto to demote Alfred Mutua. Or the Canada uh, uh, lies that they exposed the last just recent month. That one can also tell you 
But the reason why Ruto have made Musala Mudavadi on that Alfred Mutua's post is automatically to dethrone him because he's not well mature enough. Then the second one is that uh, Ruto have seen Mudavadi as a mature person who can work with the international community. He have considered uh, that so much. As much as it is not all about politics, but Mudavadi deserves it. Just recently we saw him in Colombia and the other day, and how he related with the international community was so perfect. So I think that is the main reasons why we have seen Musale Mudavadi have been given that post. With me, according to my view, Mudavadi deserves it. Uh, and also, lastly, Ruto is targeting also Mulembe Nation. He want Mulembe Nation to vote him 100%. But Alfred Mutua will now have a long way to go. Let's do another analysis on uh, Alice Wahome. Alice Wahome, <laughs> water energy for irrigation. That was her post. But now she has been transferred to more uh, lucrative ministry of land, public ministry. And that is what <laughs> Ruto have done to Alice Wao. With me, I think that is the best because Alice Wao may deserve that also. I have not seen any scandals with Alice Wao. She is trying and I appreciate what President William Samuru Iruto after. I was forgetting also on Salem Davadi that Ruto is preparing Musalem Davadi for high seat. And remember, Musalem Davadi prime cabinet uh, vacancy or office, sorry, is being prepared for Raila Amoru Odinga. You should know that. And that is why Ruto have made such kind of a quick change. Yes, that office is going to be given to the former Prime Minister as opposition office. So that is what Ruto is trying to do. Let's get to Aisha Jumwa. Aisha Jumwa have been added a ministry of gender and uh, art heritage. But Ruto have removed art heritage the departments from Ababu Namwamba and uh, he has given it to Aisha Jumwa. Aisha Jumwa, as you know, she was for NYS and the rest. But now she has been added another uh, job from Ababu Namwamba. Could it be Ababu Namwamba case where he was seen by young ladies hovering around and the rest? But I think Ababu Namamba also was not mature enough on running that administration of sports. And that is why I think William Samuru to have made such kind of a quick changes. But there are those who are serious in running the government. Then let's look on uh, this man. Uh, this one I'm seeing here. Moses Korea. <laughs> Moses Kuria have again fallen onto another trap that this time around he won't escape. Yes, he won't escape because his post have been <laughs> have been uh, taken away. Why do you think Ruto have done that? It's because Ruto have seen Moses Kuria had an issue of responding to Kenyans into public. Do you recall how he responded? And I think I analyzed that. How Moses Kuria responded to Kenya, portrayed that he is not a good leader with the intelligence or knowledge enough to run that post. So that is why his post have been uh, taken away. So ladies and gentlemen, I just decided to pick those people I've mentioned their name on cabinet reshuffle and I don't want to forget with the uh, Alf uh, Maura. Maura 
is a close associate friend of uh, the president and Mwaura has been appointed as a government spokesman. So it means Ruto was still buying time and seeing how this cabinet could work. Now Mwaura have been given a post in Ruto's administration. Remember Ruto have not fired CS. He have just made changes. But these changes only comes when Kenya is now having economic crisis. That one also tells us or drives us to another analysis that Ruto is trying to strengthen and find a way of renovating the economy. So he is trying another second chance through cabinet reshuffle. As he's doing that, <laughs> this interesting one here, ladies and gentlemen, that regardless Chief of Staff George Magoe has been transferred uh, to um, Djibouti ambassadors. He have also touched his deputies sector. He have transferred the ambassadors. So we are, uh, the next analysis I'm going to tell you why Ruto have done so on regarding chief staffs on that issue. That is what Ruto have done on a cabinet, a cabinet minister, Resafro. But remember, he have not touched anyone from Rift Valley. Yes, he have not touched anyone from Rift Valley. That one can tell you that Ruto knows what he is doing. Why do you think he have not also touched so many cabinet secretary from central Kenya. One is that Ruto fears election in 2027. Two, Ruto knows that if he will touch more cabinets from central Kenya, they are going to split with this deputy. Then lastly, as I said and asked you, why do you think Ruto made a quick changes? Ruto was trying to test a litmus <laughs> paper on his deputy reaction and his close allies in politics reaction. But up to now, I've not seen anybody reacting. But for the time being, we are going to hear them reacting. I'm very sure Alfred Mutua is going to react as much as he has been betrayed. Because remember, ladies and gentlemen, this cabinet uh, post, for instance, of Musalem Davadi and Alfred Mutua, these people made agreement during campaign. Moses Kuria made agreement that his post of uh, uh, CS of uh, industrialization, he deserves better. And that is what Ruto gave him. But why do you think now is making a reshuffle, a quick reshuffle, even uh, after you have not finished three to four years in the office? So that one tells you that Ruto, again, have not trusted his cabinet sector. So it is a very, very high chances for William Samuel Ruto to bring himself political division. As he's doing that again, you know I have to observe so many things. Ruto is now visiting Luo Nyanza, Nyanza sorry. As I've said, <laughs> the Nyanza elders have regrouped themselves to stop President from paying them a visit. And uh, he have not touched again the Luo cabinet secretary. Unless I am not aware of Eliud Owalo. And again, you have not added anybody from Luo Nyanza on a cabinet secretary sector. So ladies and gentlemen, Ruto is having a secret agenda on this cabinet reshuffle. And this is the beginning 
of President William Samuel Ruto fallout. And I would like to advise him, and I'm still advising him, to seek more advices from EX Ohuru Megai Kenyatta. For now, because of time, ladies and gentlemen, I want to sojourn my analysis and I am eagerly waiting for your opinion at the comment section below as you give us more objectives on Ruto's cabinet reshuffle. Don't forget to share this channel. Don't forget to watch and give us thumb of like, comment, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Charles and may you have a blessed day afternoon.